Unless you're the nerdiest of political nerds, you probably haven't given much thought as to who will be the next speaker in BC's legislature. But after the wacky election that resulted in the slimmest of minority governments, suddenly everything seems to hinge on this one appointment. Here's why. Premier Christy Clark has called the legislature back on June 22nd, and for that, you need a speaker, normally somebody from the party that is forming government. If a Liberal MLA puts their name forward, that reduces the party to 42 votes compared to the 44 NDP and Green, not really a position it would want to be in for a government trying to pass a throne speech. But the Liberals have indicated that if they're defeated in a confidence motion, the Speaker would resign, also unheard of. And if the NDP or Green MLA then form government and have to put forward their own Speaker, the ledge has a tie. But for argument's sake, let's say a Green or NDP MLA does become Speaker. Under parliamentary convention, they can vote to continue debate and maintain the status quo. That means they would vote to keep the government in power, even in a non-confidence vote. However, that's only convention. There's nothing actually stopping the Speaker from voting against the government and flouting years of tradition.